Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I hope you've been doing great. In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my evening self-care routine, and I'm super excited because I'll be working and collaborating with my good friend, Krista, over at The Pursuit of Homemaking. So Krista and I are actually friends in real life. We've known each other for years, and I've uh, actually lived with her family for a year. My parents had gone overseas to do ministry, and I stayed behind to do an internship. So our family was like, hey, come be a part of our family for a year. And during that time, it was just a really sweet season. I got to know Krista really well, and we became like sisters during that time frame. And so it's just been neat to see where our lives have come to at this point. Uh, Krista actually has a background professionally in cosmetology and skincare. She worked at a spa and salon, and I just love that she's gonna be bringing all of that knowledge with her um, in the, her video. Not only that, but she's been on this quest and journey to be completely toxin free and natural in her home and in her self-care products. So if you're interested in natural self-care, natural homemaking, uh, whether that be cooking or cleaning, caring for children, she is gonna be an awesome resource for you. And uh, I think you're just gonna get a lot of value out of her practical tips in her videos and some inspiration and in the way that she puts her whole heart and energy into making her home a beautiful, safe, loving place for her family. She also has just a sweet nature and a wonderful sense of humor. So please go check out her channel and her self-care video for some great tips and please tell her also that I sent you over and give her a warm welcome. She's actually fairly new to the YouTube space. She's been blogging for a little while, but YouTube is kind of a new avenue, and so it's been really exciting to kind of uh, see how her channel is coming along and blossoming. And without further ado, we are going to go ahead and get into what I do for an evening self-care routine. So the first thing I like to do is diffuse some essential oils. I just got this diffuser on clearance at TJ Maxx. It's been awesome, and it came with a sample pack, and I love this orange scent. It just boosts my mood, and uh, it just really smells great. Next, I will turn on my Himalayan pink salt lamp. This is said to boost your mood and cleanse the air and help you to sleep. And I just love the warm glow, especially in the evening time. So I recently did a video on my natural uh, oral hygiene and so I use a tongue scraper and activated charcoal toothbrush, some homemade toothpaste, xylitol infused dental floss. I also use a natural xylitol mouthwash and I do oil pulling a couple times a week as well. You can check out that video below. All right, the next thing that I'm going to do is tame this mane of mine. So I'm gonna be brushing out the tangles. My hair is the longest it has ever been in my life. So I take quite a bit of time just to detangle it. And I've been using this really neat brush that is designed to help you detangle. And you can just see how it's designed differently than a typical brush. This actually feels really great on the scalp and it does help to get the tangles out with less pain. <laughs> so um, I got mine at Walmart. Once I get all the tangles out, I'm just going to get it out of my face and get it ready for sleep. So I'm gonna put it in a simple braid. Next I will just remove my jewelry, set it aside. And I wanna show you my homemade skincare. This is made out of grapeseed oil. It also has green tea matcha and spirulina and both of those are great antioxidants wonderful for protecting the skin just great for the skin all around i also have some raw honey in this as well i will have kind of a rough recipe below in the description box for you but it's still a work in progress so far i've been enjoying it a lot so i just use this oil and i add to it some baking soda for an abrasion also for the cleansing effect Oil cleansing is a really neat way to clean your face. It does work to remove your oils on your face and your makeup and anything that is not helpful for the skin. So you basically just apply it to your whole face. I like to dab here and there and then work it all together as soon as I get my whole face covered. And it's amazing how this feels, the oil and the baking soda as you're massaging it over your face it feels really great you do want to make sure that you're sensitive to your skin and not to use too much baking soda you can try 
kind of one finger's worth of, like if you dip your finger in the baking soda, try that first. If you feel like you need more of an abrasion, go ahead and do two fingers. And if you feel like you need more, you know you can just build up. But I find that one to two fingers dabbing in the baking soda is plenty of abrasion. And so you're just gonna work this for maybe a minute or so. You can do it longer if you like and just try to get all of that makeup and dead skin cleared off. And then the next thing you're going to do is take a washcloth that you've run under hot water and you're going to apply it to your face. And you're going to let that steam and that warmth work on your face. And then once that cloth has cooled, you're going to use that cloth to kind of remove that oil that you had applied. You want to be gentle on your skin and try to go work in upward motions, especially when you're working on the sides of the face to remove the oil. This is so relaxing. So now that the oil has been removed, I'm going to be using a homemade hydrosol. This is a mixture of witch hazel equal parts with rose water. I also added in some rose essential oils and this is going to really cool the face rose and witch hazel is so good for the skin and i think if you try it you're really going to notice a difference in the texture i also use this as a makeup setting spray next would you believe it i'm going to be using some more oil as my nighttime moisturizer this came with something i'm really excited to share with you um, and it's a blend of saffron and some other herbs that are really great for your skin. Rose, of course, you see again. I've enjoyed this oil. The scent took a little bit of time to get used to, but I think it really is beneficial for the skin. One thing about it though, it's best to use at night because it is a brightening blend. You know, if you have sunspots and such. The thing about brightening blends is that they do make your skin sensitive to the sun and so you have to wait a few hours that's why nighttime is the perfect time to use a brightening blend once this oil runs out i will probably be making my own facial oil using some essential oils that i've been researching on for skin health so now that my facial oil is applied i'll be using this really cool tool called a konza wand this is an ancient skincare remedy it's made out of a mixture of copper at the top and, and another metal that is good for bring out toxins and increase in circulation. I don't know if you've heard of lymphatic facial massages to um, help with lymphatic drainage, which is great for your skin's health. It helps to release toxins. It helps to decrease water retention in the face. So if you're dealing with puffy eyes, it reduces that. It also reduces fine lines. There are a lot of great benefits to facial massage and you can research if you want. I've been amazed at the before and after photos from one session using a Konza wand, especially if you're over 30. I think you would really notice the difference right away. So um, you may have even heard of jade rollers and that's another form of lymphatic face massages and that is a good option as well. I hadn't really thought of collecting tension in the face but it's amazing how after I do this massage with the Konza wand, the how much more relaxed that I feel. Uh, the technique that you use is important as well with upward sweeping motions, circular motions. Uh, you can do up and down on the forehead. You can really work out the puffiness in your eyes with the way that you do your sweeping and especially the sweep up and to really get also at your jawline when you sweep along your jawline that feels so good so by the time that i'm done with this massage which probably takes about 10 minutes some people do they're really serious they take, do like 20 minutes in the evening 20 minutes in the morning i think you would see amazing results with that kind of dedication i i'm not really that dedicated at this point maybe when i reach you know like 35 i would probably take more time to do something like that but this has been so good so relaxing great right before bed if you do decide to try a console wand you buy one caring for your console wand is also important you can use a drop of tea tree oil and a cotton ball just to clean off the top of that and keep it good and sanitized so at this point i just sort of massage in the rest of the oil and then your face is going to look oily and kind of feel oily um, uh, but that's okay it will soak in throughout the night I also use the excess oil on my hands and I add it to my hair oil is great for your hair especially if you have 
dry, coarse, thick hair like I do, so it's really beneficial. And now that my self-care routine is done, I, it's time to relax in the bedroom. I've been trying to get away from tech time right before bed, so I will just plug in my phone to charge and then I put it on airplane mode. If you've been a part of my channel for any length of time, you know that I love this magazine called The Farmhouse Move-In. I even signed up to be an affiliate for it. Um, so this is what I like by my bedside, just a good read, give me some good tips. Uh, I, I didn't really want like beauty magazines or even like home decorating magazines because those things, I, I don't know, make me feel like I want to be or to have what I see. So this right here is just really simple and it leaves me feeling great about my home, leaving me wanting to improve my home but not in an intimidating way way that's just totally out of reach. Also I've been reading up on fermentation which is a really good thing to add to your diet. Fermented foods is very good for your tummy and your digestion and nutrition absorption. So those have been by my bedside as long with this devotional. This is a really quick devotional. Quick meaning I mean there's it packs a punch like you don't need a lot. It gives you a lot to think about as you're going to sleep. I'm just about our relationship with with God as a father and his love for us. Also been loving this wonderful Moroccan magic lip balm. It might be the best ever. And this Clarence hand cream has been wonderful. You don't even need gloves with this. It just works so well. And then finally a pillow spray. Of course, lavender is great. This is a sister to lavender. It's called Lavendin and it's very relaxing and soothing perfect to put on your pillow. So this is how my evening ends. Well, thanks so much for joining me today in this video. If you're from Chris's channel, welcome to my channel. I do hope you enjoyed this video and that you'll subscribe. And if you're a subscriber of mine, go check out Chris's video. I know you're going to get some great tips. I look forward to seeing you in my next video.